What's up, everybody? This is Jordan and Annalise. And we did our first home investigation yesterday and with my mom's friend, Rebecca, and it went very well. We got more than we bargained for. And it was it was definitely a ride. It was almost like an all for the spirits an all point bulletin on Spook Central. So um, I felt like Ray stands when I did this. It was amazing. So um, I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's go. And happy hauntings. Rebecca, Rebecca, and we are trying to communicate with the spirits here in the house. I do sense it was um, Tacopal Indian burial ground, which I believe, and this is what Rebecca believes. Am I right? Yeah. Have you and have ex can, have you experienced anything in the house since the remodeling? I haven't well, sensed anything, um, but I just know the the bad luck that this house has seen, and I've been through. Yep, and we are definitely not alone right now. The guy in the top hat is here. If there's anybody in this house, can you touch the REM pod for me? Can you light it up? Can you light up the EMF reader? Because it looks like y'all are right in light and somebody's right there lighting it up. I'm gonna move it real quick. That is re weird. Something is around here. Let me try it, turn it off. See, there's something, yeah. there's something yeah. here. Yeah. It comes back. It does not normally do this. So there's, so this light is on. There is no metal. There is nothing that's conducting it to light up to the third one. If anybody's here, can you light, light it up to the red? I, my name's Jordan. This is Annalise, my haunted doll. We, I did not, did you hear that? mommy, oh my God, <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> you heard that, yes. we, you heard, we just heard mommy, mommy. I just screamed. yes, that's a child, <gasps> I'm, I'm hoping this camera got it. <laughs> I know, we need to listen and see if it picked it up. Because I heard it look right at you. I'm like, oh I my thought God. that. And we had, this is, it's me and Rebecca here, right as here. well as Denver and Scout, yeah. two dogs. No children. No, no children. children. There are no children no in I'm this house. It's here, me and Rebecca are both yeah. freaked out. But this is good because yeah. with for my YouTube channel and if you don't want me to disclose oh, yeah so okay. I'm making sure so it was over here this is the location where the mommy yeah, came from this way right okay we're in the bathroom this is where we heard the little girl and I'm already feeling her my my dear we're here with love and light we're not gonna harm you if you the rim pods right there if you want to touch it and let me know that you're here, I would be much obliged. And Annalise is right there. And if you want to channel through me. Okay, she wants to channel. Alrighty. You can step into my body. I was seven. 
seven when I died. I fell off the wagon. She's fallen off a wagon. Mud, I'm seeing her. She fell in the mud, sliding in the mud. Horse and buggy, I'm seeing the horse and buggy. And she's, the, the wagon ran over her. Oh my God, she had a villain and she's sad. She's like, I was running away from my mommy. I'm feeling her sadness right now. I ran away from my mommy. I ran away from her. My daddy was a prominent banker. I'm seeing her father. There's this white house and I'm seeing downtown Lake Charles. He's running, he ran out after her. Yeah, I'm, I'm hearing, oh my God, my darling. He saw it. He's, pick, he's picking up her body. It's like I'm seeing from a view, not from their view right now, but from if I was standing there. He's picking her up like this and carrying her in the house. They had, and I'm seeing the wake, they had the wake in the parlor. So this was during the Victorian days. In the Victorian days when you had a funeral, they would take pictures with the dead, called memento mori, and then they would be photographed with the dead in the casket in the main parlor. So that's what I'm picking up from her. And she said, she's very sweet. She's a sweet little girl. So I'm gonna try, I'm gonna turn on the Necrophonic app too and see if we can, I'm gonna try some different things. Her shoe just moved? Yeah. Okay, Rebecca just saw the shoe move. Uh, yeah, you may have been hearing yourself with that shoe. I mean, the air's on, it could be a vent. I mean, there's an, but there's, vent. there's no. But the vanity behind her, I don't see what it is. No, there's nothing in there. There's no. Can you, can you move the shoe again, baby? Can you lift the skirt? Can you lift her skirt? Annalise is nervous. I can feel her. Annalise, don't be nervous, baby. You're fine. Wow. It's like it's like when we're talking, it happens, and then when I yeah. turn the camera, when I turn the camera on, nothing happens. But maybe you call it, check it when you go back. I am. I believe it. You saw it. <laughs> yeah, it could be mine. I mean, in comics, but I'm telling you that shoe was not like that. No, it wasn't. Before. Because I watched you put her down. You yeah, know, it wasn't. See, but what she talks was. Let's see, I'm going to try to turn on an app. See if, because I think she, she wanted the Necrophonic app. So let's see. She's. Her energy is right here. I can feel her. So what I'm gonna do. <gasps> look! 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 What? The red. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> oh, <Jesus. laughs> oh my god! And I had that on. Oh my god! Honey, can you do it again? <gasps> She's lying. Look, it's red. She's doing it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh my God. Can, thank you, sweetheart. Can you touch the rim pod? Can you make it go off? It's very, it's very sensitive. It is. There's something, there's something in here. Let's see, I'm gonna turn this on. I've got the necrophonic app. If there's anybody in here, can you tell me your name? I heard lawyer. I heard, do you hear lawyer? I heard lawyer. Little girl, can you come through? I think it's somebody.
I heard Lucy. I heard Lucy. There's a dog in here. There's a, I, I, I heard I didn't see that. Let's see, let me see if I have that all the way. That it led all the way to red. That was crazy, dude. Let me turn all that all. Am I, do I have that all the way out? Yeah, if it were the phone doing it, it would still be doing it. Yeah. It's not the phone. I'm going to yeah. move. Because right when you put that on, that lit up. Like, uh, ability to call. Yep. I'm going to, this is going off because I'm touching it, but I'm going to put it right here. Okay. If anybody's. Hey. Hi. It's going off. It's going. It was going to red again. Ed. I heard Ed. The name Ed. So there's a. Is there an Eddie in here? It's still blinking. It's still blinking. Somebody wants their horse. What wants their, who wants their horse? Vincent. Vincent. See, it's some, I'm trying to move. See, it's still blinking. It's still blinking red. So there's some, we are not alone. Bring. How many spirits are in the house? All oh, dude, I heard all oh, dude. Can you tell me how many spirits are in the house? I heard 11. 11. 11. Yep, there's 11 spirits in this house. Are y'all good or bad? If y'all are bad, light up the rim pod. Aren't we all? Tom. That's still light. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Right there. It's lighting up right there. There is something right here in front of us. Hey, Rebecca, you might want the, the bad entities here. He was a prominent, it's a lawyer. I do feel that. Can we lead him to the light? Mr. Lawyer, do you know why you're still here? Yes. We heard a big yes. Where's it going? Mm-hmm. Yeah. This time. Run east. Why, why are you still here? It's still lighting. That is crazy, and there's no electronic interference. Go to the light. Hello. Is hello? 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 This is uh, Annalise and Marie. I'm Jordan. This is Rebecca. Re Rebecca is the owner of this house. They just said your name. Rebecca. <laughs> they just said Rebecca's name. Have y'all ever talked to anybody before? No. No, yeah, I heard the no. Like a little girl. Yeah, are you happy you get to talk to somebody? No. <laughs> little girl, don't be shy. We're here to help you. We're here to help you. We're not going to hurt you. Can you tell me what street you lived on here? Hold on. Uh, 
Quinera, I heard Quinera. Are, how many Indians are in here, honey? Can you tell me? Oh my God. Look, it is lighting up and I heard, hey God, hey guys. It is lighting up. And it just let whoever was here lit it up. Move or die. Okay. That wasn't well. That was rude. Yeah. That was rude. That was very rude. You don't like the changes I'm making in the house? This is good. Do you like the changes that's going on in the house? There's a little boy here. Can y'all keep a simple thing? Or can you keep a simple thing? There's a little African American here boy dressed in 1920s attire. <gasps> Look, and just as I said that, he's lighting it up. <laughs> Rebecca, she's like, just as I said that, she's moving to the side. <laughs> And I see, I see the little boy, he's smiling. He's got like this gigam long sleeve shirt on. Ah, there it goes again. He knows I'm talking about yeah. him. He knows I'm talking about him. Um, and he's got like, yeah, see him? He's just, he's, I pick him, he's about nine years old. And he's got a, a newsboy hat on. It's a gray tweed. And he has overalls on. Now I can't see the shoes, but he's right in front of me right now. Sweetheart, can you tell me your name? They're really responding to this. If anybody wants to turn the, uh, touch the neck, uh, turn the rim pod, y'all are more than welcome to. Are you sure? Yeah. Are you sure? Yes. They said, are, are you sure? Yes. They said, are you sure? Are you sure? Yes. So we're very I'm much sure. Leave, but yeah, She's okay. going to freak out, but touch it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yep. Y'all are more than welcome to touch it. This is y'all's toys. Y'all are welcome to play with them. Go ahead. It started lighting up again. Ooh, there's some, I feel the energy right here in my hand. Something's here. Can you tell me who's, who resides in this kitchen? Lawyer. I heard lawyer again. Lawyer. 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 That's the lawyer. 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 Mr. Lawyer, I want you to come out of the shadows and I want you to tell me your name. Russell. Russell. We got a name. Russell. Russ. There's a child trying to come through. Loser. I heard loser. I heard loser. Russell, can you tell me how you died? I ain't doing it. <laughs> tell him. With my thoughts. I heard with my thoughts. Did you hear with my thoughts? Because I heard with my thoughts. Maybe you committed suicide. Did you commit suicide? Was that a yes? Was that a yes? Yeah. Yahoo! Yes! That was a yes! He committed suicide. And I keep getting death by hanging. He hung oh, himself. God. He hung, Russell hung himself. He's talking. Russell, I'm so sorry that happened to you. 
I really am. And I appreciate you talking with us. I know sometimes it's scary, but but you do not have to be scared. <laughs> really? <laughs> Michelle. I hear Michelle. Who's Michelle? Can you tell me who Michelle is? That's her name. <laughs> Who's her? Money. Money. Money, money troubles. Money, money troubles. Russell, did you have money troubles? Did you owe people money? I heard Anna. I heard the name Anna. Is there a woman named Anna here? No. No? Okay. My mistake. Okay. Who who is in this house? What? Oh my god. Oh my god. Are there Indians here? It's lighting up to red again. It's blinking. They call me fun. There's French. There's French speaking. That was a French speaking man. So they said that. Are you the Frenchman Annalise warned me about? No. Maybe not. That's not him. Do y'all like. Have y'all ever talked to a paranormal, paranormal investigator before? Feel, I heard feel. Do y'all like it? I'm here talking with y'all. Hey. Russell, do you want me to, did you have a wife or a child? She's so nice. I heard she's so nice. Oh, God, I feel Russell. The, okay, the Russell's here. The rope is tightening around my neck, and I can feel it. It is very, very strong. He's going back. He's stepping off the stool. And, <laughs> this was a quick death, but a very messy one. That's a... Russell, was your death, Looks sounds like it was very traumatic to you. Tell him, he's saying I did owe people money. He owed people money. Russell, were you in criminal activity? Okay, Russell, thank you for talking with us. Is there anybody else that wants... He knows. Who's... I heard he knows. Who knows? I slid. Is there any bad entities in here?
take Mary. one. Mary, I heard Mary. Yeah. Who's Mary? Can y'all can y'all light up the EMF reader again? Some voice came out of there. Yep. It's a rock popping. <laughs> the the dogs are acting up. I can hear them, but they know what's going on, I think. Yeah. Oh look, look. <gasps> look. Right when I say that it lights up. Who's here? Tell us who's here. Who's How can we help you? Ed. Crossed. Do you want me to cross you over? I heard hush. Sorry. I heard Shelly's dead. Who? A baby. It's a baby. See, it's sliding up. Now it stopped. Was Shelly a baby? A dog. Is Shelly the dog that's walking around here? Ooh. Okay, now I'm feeling, okay, now I'm feeling pulled to the back again. Um, let's see. Alrighty. Uh, Rebecca, can you tell us? I'm sitting with Rebecca. We've had a buttload of evidence right now. Can you inform us about a little bit of the history of the house? Uh, the house was built in the 30s, 1930s, um, east of Face, um, Harbor Street. Somebody, somebody Wait, back so I can get you. turned it, and it now faces Hale Street. Um, I don't know too many of the previous owners. Um, I do know the people that um, I bought it from in 2019. But, you know, we moved in, my daughter and my grandson and I moved in in December, and that's when the hurricane hit in August in 2020. And then there's just been so much, I feel like, bad luck here um, with the house just trying to be repaired and getting damaged. Uh, bringing in another contractor who messes it up even more and now with the third contractor and all the work going on and sometimes I just feel like a, like a depression kind of thing. Um, I don't know if I'm picking up on the energies, but I just wondered if there was something negative in this house that maybe we need to cleanse, move, yeah. cleanse so that it can, things can calm down and we can get the house you know, back to normal. Um, once again, I mean, it's kind of interesting to hear, you know, because this is so close to McNeese campus too, and um, it's a busy area in Lake Charles at one time. So just, again, curious to see what was, who else I was hanging out with here, and don't know, can't see. Um, no. But anyway. <laughs> and since we've been doing this investigation, we also have a new, uh, oh. new little visitor. We have Mr. Scout. Say hi, Scout. <laughs> hi, hi Scouty. <laughs> he's, he's a little camera shy. He's camera shy. But yes, yeah, since we've been doing this, we've been, I've been hearing voices, and Russell has been showing me this mob guy that we got dirty money. He was involved with the mob. Uh, he was a lawyer. I do sense he did live around this area. This might not have been. This wasn't the house he died in. But... He's kind of, he floats around, he's lost. He's a lost spirit because he had a traumatic death. And he showed me the mob guy here. He was part of the mob here. He did a lot of drug dealings, gambling, gambling houses here after prohibition. And this guy he just showed me was, I saw he was kind of like, if you've seen, the best way I can describe this guy, he kind of like Mr. Winky and Ichabod and Mr. Toad. He had the big lips, he has the, like the razor, Gomez, Adam Stanley mustache, and he had a pinstripe long sleeve shirt on, like very small black pinstripes on the shirt, 
and bear and uh, can I can sense him. I think he's with us, actually. Oh yeah, he's not leaving Russell alone. Oh, he's, he's with. Russell. He's attached to Russell. And I keep failing from this. He still owes me money. He still owes me money. I'm just feeling this really yeah. strong with him. So I'm gonna see if he. It wants to communicate with us, but he was he had a cigar, he was leaning back and he was going just like that. So we're gonna turn this on. If you're here with us and attached to Russell, can you light up the MF reader? Can you light it all the way up to red? A little shy, are we? Yeah, he likes to be in the darkness. Mm -hmm. He wants to yep. come out. Yep. Are. Yep. We know who you are, and I feel he wants to scare us. This is, his intent mm -hmm. is to scare us, which, Rebecca, you're not as scared as you thought you were, huh? Oh, I have to touch that thing. There'll be a new opening in the wall. <laughs> she said there'll be a new opening in the wall. If anybody wants to speak for the spirit box, you are more than welcome to. Russell, if you're here, is anybody attached to you? I heard it's there. Russell, can you tell me the guy's name that's, that's after you? I heard something. Russell, can you say it again louder? I'll try it. So I can feel I can hear something coming through. Let me try this too. We're gonna try also with the spirit box. Y'all are welcome to try the spirit box. It just lit up. It's and we have the spirit talker. So you have three devices you can use to speak. Okay. Let me put that over here. Okay. You have three devices. Use them wisely. It's, it's still searching. It depends on, sometimes they'll tell me which one they want to use, so I've got to give them an option. They seem to like the spirit boxes a little bit better. They say turn on the Necrophonic app. Of course. Horse. Oh, horse. horse. And I picked up a horse. Who's horse? Because I like to play both back. Should be scared. <gasps> oh my god, it's lighting up! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Should be scared! Oh my god! And look at that! It's lighting up! It just lit up! It's typed on the phone! Why should we be scared? I just heard a kid coming through this. Come on, guys, come out of the shadows. I'm 
may not be Chip Coffee or Chris Fleming, but I'm, I'm one of, or Zach Bagans, but I'm on my way up there. <laughs> Actually, Chris, I'm a big fan of yours, and I just ordered your t-shirt from here. Analyzed. It's just analyzed. Analyzed. There's a heavy feeling. I'm feeling a heavy feeling at my back. I'm feeling Might tingles. Feel hot. Feel hot. I'm feeling tingles right here at my back and right at my head. Something's next to me. <gasps> it's something's next to me right as I said that. <gasps> Who's next to me? Can you come through the spirit box or through the spirit talker? Something's touching my arm. Whatever's lighting this up is touching my arm. Something is right here with us. They like this thing. Yeah, I can feel it. It's the inner, there's an energy right here. It's a little baby. There it goes, yeah. There was a toddler. Hello, friend. <gasps> oh, my hello, friend. <laughs> it's not for that. It's not. friendly. It's friendly. We're not going to hurt you. Yeah. We're not going to hurt you. This is amazing. Well, Annalise is looking right there. Annalise's eyes just moved. She's looking towards the kitchen. She's scared of the kitchen. Her facial expressions will change sometimes. Marie's right behind you. She's a little black girl that the little black girl told you about. She's right behind you. She's enjoying it. She's like, I'm enjoying the show. Okay. <laughs> Laura! Hi, Laura! So Laura must be the one. Yeah. Laura is lighting up. How old are you, Laura? Enid. Enid. Was Enid your middle name? If Lea, if Enid was your last name, light up light up the EMF reader. Maybe it's a friend's name. I kept hearing tell the truth. Attached. Oh, somebody's attached. Is that you think that's Russell maybe? Is this yeah. Russell? Something's right here. I mean, yeah. it's literally lighting up. Something's attached and it's right here. Either Enid, Laura, Mary, Russell. Can you tell me who's here? I'm going to enjoy this playback. Okay. okay, this is, it said patience and it's still lighting up. So somebody's right here. I'm going to, um, hold on. Okay. I'm going to try to doubt you guys. These are dousing rods. If you are here, can you cross? I need you to cross them together. Oh my God! They're here. They're together. Okay. Hold on, I'm moving. Ah, okay. Let's start this again. Russell, if you are here with us, can you cross my rods? Cross 
doesn't stand like that. So obviously he doesn't want to go like his last one. Okay. See their movement. Something's right in front of them. Look at see their movement. Oh my god, Benny. Are you a little girl? Can you pull them pull them together if you're a little girl? Hold it more towards me if you are a grown man. It's hitting me. Are you in your 30s, age-wise? Cross for yes. Oh my god. Well, it's starting to move. Okay, let's go back here. Are you in your 30s? Are you in your 30s? Cross for yes. Yes. I'm saving Russell until he was about 35 years old. So Russell, were you 35 when you died? You can cross for yes, hold heart for no. Tell me if I'm right. It's watching you. Oh my god. Yeah, oh my god, yes. It's watching you. That's what it just said. It's watching it's you. It's watching me. What do you think of me? Do you like me? Can you tell me that? Can you light up the uh Can you light up the MF reader? Oh my god. <laughs> Does that mean you like me? Yep, I think it likes me. It definitely likes me. Can you tell me in the spirit talker what you think of me? I know y'all haven't had anybody to talk to, so I'm here to talk to you, your counsel and your friend. That was an intelligent response. There it goes again. Let's see if we let's try the necrophonic app again and see what we get. Wow. But I did sense Russell was at least around in his 30s. You know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to just find anything, maybe in the newspaper. Around, a, maybe like if we Google suicide. lawyer suicide 1940s Lake Charles, see what comes up. Oh. Ma. What is she? She was like, no, she, she, she said a big smiley face. Um, Let's see. Okay. I lost my, I'm losing my necrophonic gap here. Scout, Scouty, you okay, baby? He's like, yeah, I'm just hanging out. He's, I can feel he's nervous a bit. He's definitely nervous. I heard hi, and this thing's lighting up. Okay, let's see what this does. I'm sorry that was so loud, Scouty. I'm trying to do any kind of... Lawyer, judge, and politician, Charles Arden Russell. So Russell may be his last name. I think we found yeah. something. I think we found something. Yeah, we're, no, no, he was 1839 to 1935. 1935. what you're seeing. Yes. Place. We found something. Let's see what it says. Of course, of course my camera does not pick up the words. Dudes, but this would be more yeah. accurate. Papers. We might be able to find his papers. This, this picture. It's open for research use. I was wondering. Maybe that, that's why he didn't want to tell us the last name. And there's a Charles Arden Russell. The Brightman family. It's weird. It's picking up Harvard. That's this Harvard. That's a, I take that as a sign. Street. So maybe we're onto something. Mm hmm. So we gotta. He wants us to figure out the mystery. So there must be a, a father. I mean, who's the same names? Like 1822. Oh, he would have been 17. Did he have a son, maybe? Maybe. He lived. I was picking up the yeah. date. Maybe it was the date I was picking up instead of the age. I 
like I said, sometimes Ru it keeps, yeah, it keeps jumping. It only let me keep Russell, it. Can, were you, did did you die in 1935? Is that what you were trying to tell me? You, light up the AMF reader if that's what you were trying to tell me. Is this you we are reading? I'm going to turn on this. Oh, my God. It's lighting up. He was a tax assessor. And he had eight children. Mary Emmeline Brightman with whom he had eight children. He also was a tax assessor and a postmaster before moving to Helena, maybe Georgia. I don't know. Major in the Confederate Army. I never County judge in the 60s. Um, well, we got some information we can kind of look to see. Yep. I think we're on the right path, though. Okay, yeah. Russell, can you come through? Russell, did you die in 1935? I heard a little kid next to me. How, how many children are in this house? Something's touching my arm, my, my arm right over here. Is there somebody that would wish to cross over? That sounds good. But I heard, I think I heard four. How many spirits are with us right now? Oh, oh but. Looks like he was in a Texas legislature. Which is not, I mean, that's around in this. That is around area. in the area. Texas. Yeah. Russell, did you have a connection to Texas? <laughs> shortness of breath. Okay, I'm getting shortness of breath. Miss, of course, I don't know this guy's name. He's right here. Mr. Winky, I'm calling him. I was feeling, sh feeling shortness of breath. Okay, my throat's closing up. He's trying, he's trying, I see it, he's trying to choke me, is what he's trying, he's trying to choke, Mr. Winky is trying to choke me. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna feel like, oh, is that the mob guy? Yeah, it's a mob guy. Did he say that? No, I was just thinking. But so that's what I pick it up. You want to strangle Jordan? Do I know too much? Are you trying to kill me? Because I could see it, like I could see, I could see his face in front of mine, like strangling. Yeah, yeah his face. He was going like this and strangling me. He was trying to strangle me. Talk about bullies. You're weak, bud. And we're not afraid of you. And I'm not. Af she's not afraid of you. I'm not afraid of you. Neither is Denver and Scout. And Annalise sure isn't afraid of you. Is there anybody else here?
Some freaky voices coming through this one. Dude, yeah, I keep hearing that too. He's over here, Mr. Winky. Leave Scout alone! I see him, I call him Mr. Winky because I don't know his name because he's being an ass and not telling me his name. I'm the mob boss you don't want to mess with. Really? We'll fuck you up. <laughs> We're going to F you up, honey bunch. We got two dogs with us, too. <laughs> I'm having fun with you, Mr. Winky, until I know your name. That's what I'm going to call you. Is there any little girls that want to come first? Right. Mm -hmm. Again, sweetheart, can you light up the MF reader? Okay, Some, hold on, something's trying to channel, something, I am Chief Attackapa Indian, you are on my land, you protect this house, we will protect you, that just wanted to come through very strong. The chief does not like Captain Winky. <laughs> he does not like Captain Winky. <laughs> he doesn't like him, but I'm calling him Captain Winky. I'm gonna find like pictures. I have something on it. That's what I'm gonna turn the camera off. All right, I'm turn the camera off for now. All righty, everybody. Somebody's definitely here. I feel it. Um. This is the conclusion of the investigation, and from what me and Rebecca have experienced, and she could, she could vouch for me on this, we have deemed this place haunted, haunted Spook Central. Mm -hmm. So we have 10 to 11 spirits here, 7 children, we got that, and 1 infant. And some World War II soldiers, as well as definitely had Navy. A lot came through, so we'll see what happens the next time around. To all of you out there in the real world, happy hauntings, everybody. Now let's see if you can sleep with the lights on. <laughs> oh.